Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, our title has been updated to evidence aware fake news detection with graph neural networks, and the system may have a minor delay. So let's begin. Uh, this is the outline of my speech today, and it is divided into five parts. So let's move to the first part, the background. So its existing works of fake news detection can be grouped into two pipelines. The first pipeline is called pattern-based methods, and they simply rely on the rec recognition of exaggeration words and phrases, like uh, the phrases shown here. And uh, based on these patterns, they make the veracity predictions. And the second pipeline is the evidence-based methods, and also uh, this work followed. And the, evidence, the evidence-based methods mainly explore the semantic relationship between the news and evidence, so it can be treated as a reasoning task. So specifically, uh, given a piece of news and its corresponding pieces of evidence, uh, the, the model, the target of the model is to understand the, re the relationship between the news and the evidence, and finally, uh, I'll put the, the rest the prediction. So this is uh, the broad view of the fake, two pipelines of fake news detection. And let me show you a specific task formulation. And the input of this task is a claim and its speaker. So it let us who make the claim. And also a related evidence set which contains uh, pieces of evidence. Uh, they are corresponding publishers, such as a media. And the output of the model is a predicted probability of veracity. So let's say some representative related work. And this is the first work of the evidence-based fake news detection. And uh, this can, uh, the framework can mainly it can be mainly divided into two parts. The first part is called semantic learning module. And here, uh, from this claim side, uh, they utilize uh, average pooling to obtain the claim representation. And from the, from the uh, evidence side or from the article side, they uh, preserve the word representation. And uh, for following up the the second, the second module is called claim, claim evidence interaction module. And here they utilize what level attention to feed the information between the claim and evidence. So based on the feed information, they finally employed a MLP to obtain the final uh, veracity score. So it is quite simple since it is the first work. So it is the first work in this pipeline. So the second, the second work, work called Evidence Aware Hierarchical Interaction, Interactive Attention Networks for Explainable Claim Verification. So uh, from the semantic learning module, they utilize the GRU to embed the claim and evidence and obtain their sentence level of representations and from the from the claim evidence interaction module they performed a sentence level attention to then the attention score for each pieces of each piece of evidence and finally combine them to output the final veracity score so the main difference between uh, these, these two work is that the, the latter utilize a sentence level attention, which can uh, obtain a more global information to perform the final prediction. And the third work accords hierarchical multi head attentive network for evidence aware fake news detection. And they combined both word level attention and sentence level attention in a hierarchical manner. So from the graph, we can see that uh, at the bottom, uh, the concat attention and claims representation in the rect box is performing a word level attention. And on the top, uh, 
the also the uh, red box. So in the red inside the red box, they perform a sentence level attention. So in, in this in this hierarchical manner, they combine both word level information and sentence level information together, and finally make the prediction. So let me reach a conclusion of the the related work before. So they they all followed a similar overall framework. That is, uh, given a claim and several pieces of evidence, they fed, they are fed into a semantic learning module, and after that, they obtained claim embedding and evidence embedding, and uh, they are fed into the second module called current evidence interaction module to obtain the fusion information and based on this fusion information they make the final predictive or recipe so uh in 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 under the graph we we use the we use the red box to represent represents the semantic building module and the green box to represent the current evidence interaction module so so uh, the most existing was follow for focus on the design of claim evidence interaction module while neglecting the fine grained evidence semantics mining. That is, they they neglect the design of the formal formal module called uh, the that is the semantic learning module. Uh, so specifically, they suffer from two weaknesses. The first weakness is the sequential model, as the semantic encoder cannot capture the, the evidential long distance dependence. So let's see the example graph below. So the highlighted the highlighted snippets is the claim related snippets. So we can see that the two piece, pieces of evidence uh, has a a large, large distance and that is the a lot of words are between them so this is called this is called the long distance semantic dependence so this is this long distance dependence is hard for sequen sequential models to capture and the second weakness is that much redundant information in evidence may harm the model performance so we can see uh, this, uh besides the the two highlighted snippets uh, other information in the in this evidence document is unrelated to the claim so it may harm the it may harm the model performance if we all fed if they are all fed into the claim evidence interaction module so this is also a true motivation of our of this work so for the first motivation, the how to capture the evidential, evidential long distance dis, uh, de dependence. So we utilize a fixed size slide window to capture the local context. And where the central world in every window will be connected with the rest of the world. And uh, through, this, through this way, we construct, we, we transform the plan text into a a structure text graphs. So we can see that the the, the word Taliban in the green circle, uh, they, the two related snippets are connected on the graph. So they, the, the long, dis long distance is shortened, shortened on the graph. So uh, let that is uh, let is realized by that the same word appear in different positions of evidence will be merged into one word. We do this since we found found that the some keywords will repeatedly appear in related evidential snippets, such as the Taliban here. So through this way, the claim related snippets will be gathered on this constructed graph and thus capture the evidential long distance dependence so this is for this is the solution for the first weaknesses so for the second the redundant information we we think about how to drop drop, drop or discard such redundant information and under our graph based framework 
we treat the redundancy removal as a rough structural learning process. So uh, since the redundancy is not, uh, is involved in the words, and the words is represented by nodes on the graphs. So we choose to drop nodes. And the next question is that uh, how to how to score the each node or how to rank each 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 node by the redundancy score. And since the redundancy is not only related to the self information contained in each node, but also induced by the contextual information, we first perform a perform a neighborhood aggregation on the on the graphs so that each node can aggregate the neighborhood information and based on that we we rank we we rank the score and filters some parts of the nodes uh, so this is the overall this is the overall framework of of this work and uh, named GAT, uh, named get so first we construct, we transform the plan text into the structure, structure graph. And the, the red, red, red box uh, represents the semantic, semantic learning module and the yellow box uh, represents the scrub structure learning module. So after, after the structure refinement, we, we obtained uh, polished structure, polished structure, polished polished graph structures, and on the polished structure, polished graph structure, we perform the neighborhood the neighborhood aggregation again to obtain the fine grained evidential evidential semantics. So since uh, the, the the contributions of this work are all lies in the former former part that is the semantic learning module so any any of any of the the claim evidence interaction modules in the previous work can be plugged into our framework and this is the main experimental results we can see that our our framework performed outperform all the previous baselines and become the new SOTA. So uh, on the right bottom side, the, this is the ablation study. And the GLOVE and MAC is two different uh, semantic encoders. So we can see they, all, they, they are all inferior to our graph-based encoder. And for the green, the, for the green bar, it represents that the, the model without the uh, structural refinement. So we can also see that our model can outperform there. So this, the, these results demonstrate the, the effective, effectiveness of the contribution of this paper. So on the, uh, on the right bottom side, uh, uh, as we mentioned before, uh, our framework can plug into any uh, claim evidence, claim evidence interaction modules in the previous work. So uh, we connect them with our, we connect two of them with our framework, and the results shows that our strategy strategy can perform well in uh, under different claim evidence interaction module. So. Uh, there are two future directions of the improvement of this work. The first is that uh, we can perform a claim evidence guide, claim guided evidence refinement. That is the, the, the evidence refinement in the current model is directly learned under the veracity supervision, which lacks the explicitly uh, claim guidance. So this is a future direction. And the second direction is that the knowledge injected evidence semantics mining. That is, uh, since the nodes in a graph, in graphs currently are words, but there are many entities in the news or in the evidence. So uh, these, the, these, these entity information in the news and its corresponding evidence uh, is lack, 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 lack of the mining. So this is also a future direction. And this is all my reports today. 
So thanks for listening. And uh, if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to reach me uh, by email or and the source codes or also open source you know, at the GitHub. So feel free to use that. Yeah, thank you very much for this uh, interesting um, presentation. Are there any um, questions to the author? If okay, Marco Fitzkela. Yes. Thank you very much, actually, for the nice presentation. Um, I would like actually to to have a, a bit more details on, uh, the, for example, the creation of the graph. Uh, so um, when you show in the slide that there was, for example, a connection between the, the nodes, but how do you really connect uh, one word to the others? Uh, this uh, I would like to understand more in detail. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. So, so the question is about the construction, the graph construction. Is that yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in detail, uh, uh, we utilize a uh, fixed uh, uh, windows. Like uh, we, for example, we use a window that covered five walls, and in in the example show shown here, we cover the the tr uh, we cover five words the the trump admin uh, administration and nego negotiated and directly and the center word here is the administration so the administration will uh, connect it with the other four uh, the rest of rest of words in this uh, windows in on the graph so uh so uh when we finish uh a window we will uh, we will slide the window to the next to the next uh, five words and and it iteratively uh, we construct the final graph so okay thank you very much this means uh, i mean it okay. would be nice also if you can go back in the slide to see for example the example uh one of the beginning slide but uh, this means that the each word gonna have uh, at least or at the most uh, uh, four other words connected, correct or or not? Uh, pardon. So, if uh, you so, have a so, window of five words, correct, and then one yeah. word is connected to the other four in the window, this is what you do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. And if so, we, we example, utilize this example, way to. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. Okay. So, so we utilize this way to to uh, to to construct the local information, and for for the same words uh, such as Taliban here, uh, which appeared distantly in the in the in the in the evidence or in the text we merge them into the same words on the graph. So we can utilize this way to capture the long distance or global information here. Okay, nice. And you do also some pre-processing, correct? You don't consider all the words or you or, or you do? Oh, we, we utilize all the words. Okay. And when you say word, of course, you utilize the embedding of the, the word, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you.